When it comes to fitness, it feels like that we're always starting over. Is that a real thing or is that something that we've put in our minds? Stay tuned and let's find out. We are all trying to get fit, but when it comes to fitness, I always feel like I am starting over. What can I do to avoid this person? Work out all the time and be consistent. Okay, well, I'm not <laughs> you, so Madison is the workout queen. If you haven't realized from her arms, okay, this girl what is going on. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> show yeah. the guns, show those guns. About. Yeah, we, we need that. Uh -huh. I was listening to you two in the green room, and you were talking about, um, so what do you do? And Madison's like, oh, I work out 30 minutes a day and stretch and stuff. But it. it it seems like it's a really good idea to work out 30 minutes a day. It's an awesome idea. It is an awesome <laughs> idea. But it's really tough to find that time to work out. Yes. But for me, the tough, I do always feel like I'm starting over, especially if I have to go out of town or if my husband out of town because we are attached. When we, we go to the gym together. We don't work out together, mm -hmm. but we're together. But you're each other's motivation and you're, you're accountability. You're exactly. Yes. And when he's not there, I, sometimes I don't eat for days mm -hmm. and wow. I don't work out. Really? Yes. And we both realize that he does the same thing. <laughs> I hope he doesn't go before you. <laughs> but recently, I had to go out of town twice in the last couple of months. And I, you know, I got my backpack and I got my, my resistance bands and I didn't got my DVDs. And, and it I, all stays I, packed. Yeah, yeah. and I don't work out. And <laughs> you have I to put it with your underwear. You know what? Because yes. you know you're going to go get underwear uh -huh. no matter what you do on your vacation. You no, back. then you see it every time you look at it and you're like, yeah, not going to happen. And then you feel guilty. It, that's it. And I feel really bad because when I come back home, it takes me more time to start over and that it but you are it's, you, it's you are starting over every time that you don't work out and keep it consistent it's an it's a mental and it's an emotional thing you mm -hmm. have to keep doing it so <laughs> i feel guilty right now just listening to the exercise <laughs> and that you work out too and i'm a drink a, a beer drinker mm -hmm. like You've literally i <laughs> no, I don't. Maybe every other day, but every other day. <laughs> That's why it's so hard for me to like when I focus and you know I have a gym membership. <laughs> well, use it and, like, and use it. I but should start. Not, I'll start tomorrow, and then, and then the beer. Yeah. Right, but you can drink the beer and still work out. Well, because carbs yeah. are good for you. No. carbs is a preferred source of energy. Okay. If you didn't here's know, here's my That's problem. <laughs> so I will start the workout DVD. I'll lay out my yoga mat, whatever I got to do. I start working out, and I get on the floor, and I see how dirty my floors are, <laughs> and then I can't work out because I need but to. You do you want to clean for two hours? Okay, but if you have a swimmer, you could turn that into a workout if you want to. Just start moving. You could right? do abs, you could put it on your Ooh. feet, push out, pull in, push out, pull in, and then you've got yeah, sections no, at a time. Yeah, because then there's laundry to do and dishes but, to be done, and I just, I can't do it. Well, I do think this is a real problem, especially for women. If you're a woman like myself, I have to have a plan. If I go to the gym, I have my, it's printed out. Mm -hmm. If I don't have yes. that printout, and then if not, I don't have right, my. But not only see, here's but, the thing, though. Wait. Okay, what I hear is that your expectations and your goals to get your workout in might not be attainable. Mm -hmm. So you make your workout outside of yourself. Now I have two kids, single mom, I work a full-time job and then some. And so you're when, making me feel uh, really right. bad about so, myself. But, but yeah. what I, because I know it's important and it's important for my kids too. I want them to know that health is important to me. It's mm -hmm. important to the family. It's important to everybody. I try to make everybody work out, including my mom who hates me. <laughs> Really? Oh. <laughs> She's like, why do I have to? But I got her stretching every night for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I find my workout wherever I can find it. If I'm at the park because the kids want to be at the park, I will play tag with them until I am exhausted. But Yolanda, I, I remember you telling me you find your motivation when you wake up. What is the first thing you see? Oh, <laughs> I have a little, um, on my cell phone, I have little messages that I send myself mm -hmm. and I can't say I'm on television <laughs> but <laughs> it is because right I now. go work out at like between 3 30 and 4 30 a.m. because I'm a morning person and I don't like a lot of people in the gym but I have put up a lot of barriers and I say oh if it's not seven o'clock it's past seven I can't go my whole day is ruined and going back to me not being in control not being organized and then it takes me two or three more days to get back on right. track and I'm restarting and Again. And we'll do that. We'll self sabotage yep. ourselves so that we won't have to work out because Guilty we see charged. it as work. You, do you not see it as work? Well, yeah. Recently, <laughs> <laughs> recently with me, it's just more like I've been just enjoying myself. Yeah, but you know, you just lost what over a hundred pounds? One hundred and sixty pounds. One hundred and sixty mm -hmm. pounds. Find but you, so you cannot. But just, I'm still fat. But you don't have you're to not. Work out. You're curvy. 
<laughs> and and, and yes. it's not about whether you're fat or skinny or whatever. It's about are you healthy? It's the beard. And that's are true. Like in your case, people yeah. think that people you don't have concerns. Yeah, people think that oh, you don't need to work out. And I'll say, yes, I do need to work out because I want to be healthy. I am skinny fat. Mm -hmm. I am in the worst shape of my life. Maybe if you look at me, you wouldn't think so, but I know so. Mm -hmm. The doctor knows Because being skinny out, does not necessarily mean that you're healthy. And that's what we really should focus on. That Every time we're starting, we're, we need to focus on the health part of fitness yes. instead of the dress size. And Yeah, yeah. it's not about size or about weight. It's truly about just maintaining your health. Commitment. Commitment. Don't self-sabotage. We'll be right back with more Everywhere Woman. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yes, there you go. You hold okay. a picture like this. Make it five minutes ago to hold it. But you know what? Just subtract something else. If, if After this commercial break, more Everyway Woman.